calling you a radical. I want to get this right in the Blanche Free Library. Look at this. What's laying here? <laughs> I didn't put it there either. You can't make it up. Good kick. Good catch, Blanche. <laughs> oh, God, that's funny. So, I want to get this right, the Free Library. You can plagiarize me all you want. I don't care. Go ahead. Everybody does it anyway. It's all the rage. So, the Super Bowl MVP. So, he didn't play on this field. I got that wrong. He played against Weber twice. Now, Eastern Washington will be here for the first time in a while for homecoming this year. But this is important because the two games that he did play, he was a 69th draft pick. And this is the deal in college athletics, how this league, they, they get no respect, which they're messing up. These players are all that. You know, they're still running to Alabama all the time. This is a real league, you know, that with a real tournament. So he played against Weber twice. Now, Tron Johnson, I always go back to that game when Weber was horrific. Jody Sears was the worst coach in history. They were the most corrupt football team maybe in history, losing his program in history. It was pathetic. I sit there and watch the sex for grades. It, I mean, it was bad. So we, I remember being at the game in 2013. You know, I was sick full of cancer with my grandson when they won a home game, which was rare. They beat, uh, was it Morrison from Texas? Like 50 to 40. Then later that year, they played up at Eastern. Eastern annihilate them. A guy named uh, Cooper Cup had two touchdowns in the first two minutes of the game. So, this is such a turnaround. I called a snowball match and help. Jay Hill wasn't the coach. So, they fired him. It looked like this team was finally going to get the death sentence, this football program, it, which I don't know how it didn't. The NCA came in and hammered him again. I mean, you think about they're that corrupt, you'd think maybe they'd win. Oh, no. Oh, no. It was that bad. It was that corrupt. And I'll tie this into, you know, it looks like the war's going to break out in Ukraine with the 15 nuclear reactors and Prince Harry sitting with his cousin at the Super Bowl. So the next time they played him was in 2015 up there, and this is when Jay turned his thing around. And I, that was the game that I knew they turned it around. Eastern was all that. He was... Uh, Offensive player of the year. He won the Walter Payton Award that year. Jay Hill's team with Tyron Johnson. Tyron Johnson played against Cooper. Yeah, the greatest play in Buffalo Bills history. Oh, yeah, he played here on the worst team in history and the best team in history, this school. He played on them both, yeah. I mean, and so they went up there. We were just dominated the game. But... A guy named Cooper Cup had two touchdowns. They beat him 15, 14 to 13. So, I want to get this right because the red turf, they call it the Inferno, right? You know what the temperature was of the Super Bowl in LA? I think it was 90. It's 60 here today. In February, what, what? This is five, we're a mile high right here, right? Just under mile high. And so. So, at the Super Bowl, it's coming out, there's Prince Harry. Now, who is the heir to the Russian royal family, DNA-wise? Look it up. Oh, it's Prince Harry. Look it up, the cousins. Look it up. Where's your crown? So, he's sitting there at the game with his cousin. Didn't his dad do the same thing to his mom? Isn't Prince Charles and what's her name? She's been whatever, Queen Hood. Aren't they related? Same old thing, 1913, 14. It's, sports is so metaphorical. They were going to make this field purple. I had a fit. You know, that red field up there, isn't it a metaphor? Cooper is the MVP. He played on the Inferno. I can't even watch games there. You get physically nauseous watching the games. But, by the way, it's irony because I was just shooting those videos right there real quick like it. I look over, I was getting done, there's Connor Mortensen and Justin Malone right there. And I'm like, by the way, Connor is a potential NFL player. He's potentially going to go to the draft. Now remember, Cooper was the 69th pick in the uh, draft. 69th. Oh, you think that's bad? Super Bowl MVP. 
Tron Johnson, I think, was the 129th. <laughs> they overlook these players. It's like when they used to overlook Damian Lillard. I mean, there's a bunch of players at Weber State. I mean, Jerry Carter should be playing in the NBA. There's, there's several. But anyway, this is my point. This leads all that. <laughs> all that. The best player I've ever seen play here. Oh, that's so you'll go in the NFL draft. <laughs> draft him 69th, and you're a fool. You're going to get a bargain on him. That'd be Rashid Shahid, Lightning. You know, Mortensen should go in the draft, too. Uh, Jonah Williams is on that round team, I believe. He was. He's from here. He's a local. He played high school football here, grew up here. So it's important because it's so significant, this turnaround. Jay Hill didn't coach that team in 2013, and oh, were they bad, and Eastern blew them out. Eastern's always got a good football team. But he was the Walter Payton winner. They get drafted 69. No love for this league, and I'm telling you, it's all that. In Snow, Utah, and it's so metaphorical. Who's the best two teams in the NBA right now? Don't tell me the Heat and the Suns. Don't tell me he played on the Red Inferno. Don't tell me it was 90 degrees. And I mean, all post Fukushima. Don't say the F word. All post Fukushima. You know, I got cancer in 2011. Jay's wife is a leukemia survivor, but I had AML de Nuvo, the bad cancer. Nobody survives that beast. I want to get this right. Into the free library. So, blanched the free library. I do all the dirty work. You know, it's okay. I'm okay with it. You know. I was a pretty wealthy dude, monetary-wise, until I got cancer.